We have discussed on the show many times, as a matter of fact, the dangers of smoking. As a matter of fact, we're all pretty much aware of the impact smoking can have on our health, lung cancer, emphysema, stroke, coronary heart disease, that just names a few. And yet, some kids still are just not getting it. In fact, after praising CVS's announcement that it will stop selling tobacco products, Secretary of Health and Human Services Kathleen Sebelius shed light on just how many kids are still picking up the smoking habit. Sebelius says each day some 3,200 children under 18 will try a cigarette for the first time. 700 will go on to become daily smokers, and she says more than five and a half million children will die prematurely due to diseases linked to smoking. But the thing is, when it comes to our kids, it's not just cigarettes we have to worry about. Nowadays, many kids are smoking these things. They're flavored cigars. Amazing as it is, there's strawberry, there's chocolate, green apple. There's also concern that these cigars are appealing to our kids. So joining us today to tell us more about it is WBOC's Leanne Matlack. Thank you for coming in, Leanne. Thank Appreciate you so that. much for having me. We're, we're talking all kinds of flavors to these things, aren't we? Right, yeah. I went out and bought, you know, just a few, and they make strawberry, green sweets, I mean, blueberry, and, you know, grape. And that's usually the kind of flavors that comes in candy, and that's where people are starting to worry because it's appealing to kids. And the sales of these are increasing daily, aren't they? Yes, we have seen sales of this explode. I mean, if you want something, you know, they often look like they're flavored in candy. I mean, they're the bright colored wrappers and, you know, it's very eye-catching to kids and they're saying, oh, hey, maybe that's something I want to try. Right, but are they really as dangerous as cigarettes? They might actually be even more dangerous, and really? that's where the worry comes in. We'd actually talked to some people from the Wicomico County Health Department, and they said often the carbon monoxide in a cigar smoker's lungs is even more than a cigarette smoker, and, you know, that's what they've been telling us. They blew on the carbon monoxide machine 120, where a non-smoker is supposed to range between a zero and a three, and a pack-a-day cigarette smoker ranges between 18 and 25. So this was 120. And it's not just the flavors that they're concerned about. There's something else that you're going to tell us about tonight. Yeah, that's also the other big concern, and you're going to have to tune in tonight. And, you know, my story is on tonight on WBOC News at 10, and you can find out more about flavored cigars. All right, wow. Leanne, thank you so much. Yeah. Very interesting. Looking forward to that. Like she said, tonight, WBOC News at 10 on Fox 21. We're still ahead on Delmarva Life. We go one-on-one -on -one with CBS co-anchor Gail King. She tells Brian about the person who inspired her to get into broadcasting, plus her connection to Brian's childhood. <laughs> And a little bit later on, we're in the kitchen with the former bassist from Bad Company, Paul Cullen. Paul's going to share with us a homemade pasta dish that will have everybody coming back for seconds. Delmarva Life, we'll be right back.